going to solve the previous year gate problems from the chapter free and forced convection so let's take on the first question the first question is byte number signifies the ratio of okay uh, students generally get confused between the significance of byte number and nusl number okay and I, I'll explain both of them here so byte number is basically conductive resistance conductive resistance in the solid to convective resistance in the fluid whereas nusl number is heat transfer through convection upon heat transfer through conduction okay so this is basically the difference between the physical significance of byte number and nusl number and byte number is HLC by KS whereas nusl number is HLC by KF KF is thermal conductivity of fluid and KS is thermal conductivity of solid when you know we solve these this 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 equation and this equation okay and yeah LC is the characteristic length okay next question consider a two-dimensional laminar flow over a long cylinder as shown in the figure the free stream velocity is u infinity this is u infinity okay uh, the free st stream temperature T infinity is lower than the cylinder surface temperature Ts okay the local heat transfer coefficient is minimum at what do you think guys where it should be minimum uh, solve it before seeing the solution so if you have solved it I will tell you that the nusl number is influenced by the nature of boundary layer development on the surface starting at point 1 at this point what happens nusl number decreases with increasing theta as you move from here the nusl number will decrease and theta will increase this theta theta okay as a result of uh, laminar boundary layer development so when the flow reaches here the nusl number reaches minimum as separation will occur at point 2 and therefore at point 2 the local heat transfer coefficient will be minimum so the answer is 2 the next question is for laminar forced convection underlying I am underlining these words laminar forced convection over a flat plate flat plate do read the question very carefully okay to avoid silly mistakes uh, if the free stream velocity increases by a factor of 2 the average heat transfer coefficient pretty simple question based directly on the formula that you have read nasal number is equal to HLC by K which is equal to 0 0.664 Reynolds number point raised to the power point 0.5 Prandtl number raised to the power 1 by 3 okay h bar this is average heat transfer coefficient okay so what we see that h bar is directly proportional to re raised to the power 1 by 2 from here because Prandtl number will remain same 0 0.664 will get cancelled out all other factors are same so we get that h bar is directly proportional to re raised to the power half okay what is the formula for Reynolds number? Reynolds number is rho v l by mu. Okay, so h bar is directly proportional to v raised to power half. Can I say that? Yes, because rho is same, l is same, mu is again same. So h bar is directly proportional to v raised to power half. That implies h two bar. That is after the free stream velocity increases by a factor of two upon h1 bar is equal to 
b2 by v1 raised to the power half and that is root 2 so we say that it rises or increases by a factor of okay uh, this is a pretty important topic from the gate point of view many questions are asked from this topic that is critical radius of insulation let's uh, do this problem a 10 mm diameter electrical conductor is covered by an insulation of 2 mm thickness okay so the diameter is 10 mm which means that radius is 5 mm okay that is 0 0.005 meters I like to work in SI units so because uh, when you work in SI units uh, the, the chance of committing an error is uh, is quite less okay the conductivity of the insulation is 0 0.08 watt per meter Kelvin and the convection coefficient at the insulation surface is 10 watt per meter square Kelvin convection coefficient H is 10 watt per meter square Kelvin and the convect uh, conductivity of insulation is 0 0.08 watt per meter Kelvin okay addition of further insulation of the same material will okay be careful that critical radius of insulation the formula is K insulation not the uh, original uh, material of the uh, this electrical conductor it is K insulation okay be careful it is K insulation upon H okay that implies if we solve this R critical is equal to what is uh, conductivity conductivity 0 0.08 and H is 10 meters that becomes 0 0.008 meters that implies 8 mm okay and we have a wire of radius 5 mm and an insulation of 2 mm thickness is covered so now the new radius becomes 5 plus 2 that is 7 mm okay and the critical radius of insulation is 8 mm so we have we must have studied this you must have studied this graph Q or this graph that up to critical radius of insulation heat transfer rate increases okay this is 8 here is 7 so if if we add further insulation first of all the heat the rate of heat the increase uh, the heat loss will increase and after RC it will decrease so the answer is C okay Okay, be careful that you have to convert this in radius this is diameter given don't commit careless mistakes okay uh, this is again a same question based on critical radius of insulation if a foam insulation is added to a 4 cm outer diameter pipe 4 cm outer diameter this is diameter we have to change it in radius because we find critical radius okay of insulation as shown in the figure the critical radius of insulation pretty simple question okay so here they have given pipes uh, thermal conductivity also and foams thermal conductivity also I, I have already told you that in R critical this is K insulation not of pipe so be careful this is K insulation upon H okay and insulation is of foam so 0 0.1 upon h is h is given as 50 okay solving this we get 0 0.05 meters however you have to fill the answer in centimeters that is 5 centimeters be very careful please I repeat be very careful in which units have you have to fill the answer okay let's move on to the next question
A cylindrical uranium fuel rod of radius 5 mm in a nuclear reactor is generating heat at the rate of 4 into 10 raised to the power 7 watt per meter cube. Okay, so watt per meter cube. So if we multiply this generation with volume, we will get total rate of heat generation. Total heat generated. Okay, the rod is cooled by a liquid with convective heat transfer coefficient 1000 watt per meter square Kelvin at 25 degrees Celsius. At steady state, the surface temperature in Kelvin of the rod is uh, again a very very simple question. Uh, just energy balance you have to apply. Suppose this is the rod and the total heat is generated inside it. What will happen? The heat will flow outside and the fluid which is flowing here will carry this heat so this is a simple energy balance so I will uh, say that heat generated total okay total is equal to heat transfer to the fluid to liquid energy balance simple energy balance that is QG into V is equal to H A temperature surface we have to find and T infinity which is given as T infinity which is given as 25 degrees Celsius okay and this we have to find put the values 4 into 10 to the power 7 watt per meter cube into pi 0 0.005 square let the length be L H H is 1000 thousand into 2 pi 0 0.005 to pi rl we have assumed the length l t minus t infinity solve this you'll get the answer t is equal to 125 degrees celsius because here we have put the t infinity in degrees celsius so we'll get the answer in degrees celsius we have been asked the answer in in kelvin okay so in Kelvin it will be 398 Kelvin here the options are quite uh, simple like they have already uh, given the options in Kelvin sometimes what they do is they will write first option as 125 and there and here they have asked in Kelvin so if you will not notice that in which units you have to answer the question you will take 125 and the marks and you will lose the marks okay so the Please be careful about the units. The answer is 398 Kelvin. Let's move on to the next question. A brick wall K is 0 0.9 watt per meter Kelvin of thickness 0 0.18 meter separates the warm air in a room. Okay, let me draw the wall. This is my wall. K is given. 0 0.9 watt per meter Kelvin separates the warm air in a room for from the cold ambient air on a particular winter day the outside air temperature is minus 5 degrees Celsius let this be minus 5 degrees Celsius and the room needs to be maintained at 27 degrees Celsius inside the room it is 27 degrees Celsius the heat transfer coefficient associated with outside air is 20 watt per meter square Kelvin outside air so here the H is 20 watt per meter square Kelvin and for inside air nothing has been given about H and also they have said that neglect the convective resistance of the air inside the room obviously they have not given H and they have mentioned that you have to neglect it so we don't need need H of the room okay now what we have to find out we have to find out the heat loss okay we have done this uh, question earlier also this type of question Q is equal to delta T upon R total delta T is the temperature difference R total is the resistance offered by convection and conduction okay and we have to find out the heat loss in watt per meter square so what we'll do we we'll, when we'll expand this like this 1 upon H 1 upon H plus L upon K A this is L this is L L upon K A we take this A here 
and we'll get the answer in watt per meter square that is flux delta t what is delta t delta t is 27 minus minus 5 upon putting the values it's 0 0.18 upon 0 0.9 plus 1 upon 20 okay we get q double dash is equal to 128 watt per meter square this is the answer we have done these type of questions earlier also so c is the answer next a plastic sleeve of outer radius okay we have given radius mark r not 1 mm covers a wire radius 0.5 mm carrying electric current thermal conductivity of the plastic is 0 0.15 watt per meter kelvin the heat transfer coefficient on the outer surface of the sleeve exposed to air is 25 watt per meter square kelvin due to the addition of the plastic cover the heat transfer from the wire to the ambient will okay so you see that from this topic almost every year the question has come this is a, an important topic from the gate point of view and we have done the questions uh, from this topic uh, earlier also in this video so what you will do you will find R critical again R critical is K insulation I am repeating K insulation K insulation upon H what is K insulation K insulation is thermal conductivity of the plastic that is 0 0.15 upon H H you have been given as 25 so R critical is 0 0.006 meters that is 6 mm okay but R R naught is R naught is what 1 mm okay and R critical is 6 mm so what will happen again from this graph or we know this graph this is just okay. this is R critical R naught is here 1 mm so when we add this plastic cover the heat transfer will increase will increase so this is the answer let's move on to the next question okay grash of number signifies the ratio of uh, this is pretty again a very simple question direct from the theory portion what do you uh, guys uh, know about grash of number grash of number is simply the ratio of point force point force to viscous force and it is given by G beta delta T LC cube upon nu square this is a formula direct theory based question has also been asked so with this I complete the previous year gate problems from the chapter free and forced convection